So today I am going to be doing a another update video, so sorry about that. Um, and this one is going to be on my RSPCA visit and some more kind of like verity stuff. Okay, so I've got my notes here and I've just got a load of stuff to tell you, so sorry if it gets boring. So first off, it was a really nice visit to the RSPCA. Um, we saw some really cute dogs. Um, there was this one called Benji and he was like a border collie and he was like playing ball with us through the bars and like we were stroking him and my mum was even considering like asking me about him but in the end she didn't but he was really cute and we were playing with him. There was loads of cute cats and kittens and there were so many cute rabbits. There's loads there. Um, I really wanted to rescue them all. And there's this one who looks like Lottie, one of my old rabbits. I so wanted to take him or her home. They were just gorgeous. And um, we went out after that, had a few drinks at a pub. Um, and it was a nice hot day, so yeah, it was just generally a nice day out. Um, and we also went to the race did open day. Um, yeah, it was an open day. Like, we didn't know that. We just went there and we saw the board. And, um... We donated, I got a little race did bag which is quite cute. Um, and I'd expected there was no ferrets. I knew they didn't generally rehome them. So but yeah, we just had a nice day looking at the animals and that. And there's some lovely rabbits there too. Um so yeah, that was basically our day. Um so just for the as for the RSPCA, um they didn't actually have any ferrets there, but my mum wanted to go out for the day, so we went anyway. Um, and to the pub and raced in and stuff. Um, though, so that meant there was no opportunity for me to handle any. Um, but the thing was, they weren't very keen on me getting ferrets um, at all, really. So, one thing they were worried about was my age, because they think, thought that I'd get bored of them. I'm pretty sure I won't get bored of them. I've had my rabbits and pets since I was like five years old maybe and um they were like asking me how old does the ferret live and I was like five to eight years and they were like what will you be doing in five years and I was like well I've got it all planned it's like I want to go to Plumpton um, and then I'm going to work in my cat mum's cat and do some volunteering and stuff and so in five years time I might have just got a job or something um and obviously I've got more of my other pets um so yeah and um and even if I did move out by then, which I really don't think I will, like knowing that the current world's economy and stuff, I don't think I'd move out. But if I did, my main priority would be a pet friendly place. So, yeah. Um, but the main thing was about the rabbits who were down in there and the guinea pigs, so my other animals. Obviously, they weren't worried about the dog, the fish, or the hamster because they're inside. Um, and yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, they were like, you have to wash your clothes in between, like, or change clothes, and you have to wash your hands and everything. I thought that was a little bit over the top. Um, I asked, made a thread on a ferret forum, like, saying, who's got ferrets and rabbits, how do they interact? None of them wash their clothes or anything, and they don't really seem that affected by the smell. Sorry. <laughs> Some of them even let them play together. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. Um, though if it was, obviously of course I'd do that, if it stressed the rabbits out, I would. But I think I'll get used to it, to be honest. Um, and it's not like the ferrets know what rabbits are, or the rabbits know what ferrets are. Except from natural instinct or whatever. Um, though obviously I wouldn't let them play together. No way would I risk my rabbits. And yeah, like dogs are pretty. Sorry about that, my camera was full. As I was saying about, they were worried about the rabbits. Um, at the time I was going to be put the, putting them in 6x2 hutch and the run. Um, but as you may have known from my bulletins, I am now getting a summer house for them. Um, well, most probably like 98% I'm getting them on. Um, I just thought this would... Um, this would make them kind of like more separate and they would be able to smell each other less because the summer house is kind of enclosed. 
and it would definitely look nicer. I mean, like, I'd um, put flowers on it, like the rabbit share, make a picture wall, um, get like a little sign, um, give a name to it, like Bunnington Palace, um, and stuff like that. Um, and summer houses are basically fancy sheds, so it's going to look even nicer than the shed. Uh. So I emailed them saying about the summer house and stuff and I showed them a picture of the garden I showed them the rabbit shed and where the ferret shed would go. Um, so hopefully that shows that the ferrets would be right at the end of the decking and that they're kind of separate because that's what they said, that they need to be separate. Like, And we were like, oh yeah, we've got quite a big garden, we can separate them. And we're also going to in time possibly put a fence around the decking area which is where they're going to go and that would make them even more separate so if they did get out of the summer house then they'd have a fence around there so they still can get to the rabbits and if they got out of that then they can't get into here either because this is secure so like double protection or whatever and they haven't replied yet though because they take like five days to reply because they're quite busy so yeah we're just going to pick up the summer house and then if they reply saying no that's not okay we don't we home to summer houses or something then um that kind of stuff but my dad will probably use it for like if shh, lawn mowers and stuff um and basically yeah when we were there they were just like they sent us home and said to think about it um but they said they did say if i really wanted them and i could separate them and make wash my clothes in between and stuff i could just agree with that and if they don't care about each other then I won't do that but if they do I will um, and they said that it is possible if I really really want them um, and they get them in from this woman who has about 50 at the moment um, so yeah there's quite a few of them and they'd like match me up with the best pair possible um, and yeah there's if there's 50 ferrets, I think there'll be some friendly ones, hopefully, in there. Um, so yeah, tomorrow is Sunday. I'll probably get this uploaded by, like, Sunday. Um, and we're going to pick it up at 10.30 in the morning tomorrow. Um, and I'm just going to see if I like it. I probably will. Um, and I'll make a video of it tomorrow, just showing you it. And, like, a progressive stage of all the things I add to it, like flowers and signs and stuff. Um... I wasn't sure if like some houses are okay because everyone mentions um, everyone mentions sheds, windy houses, kennels, but no one ever talks about summer houses. Um, and basically, everyone just told me that it's only because they're basically expensive sheds, and they do get quite hot. But mine's going to be in the shade, and it's going to have a mesh door too, so that's okay. And this has got a polycarb roof. And that makes it a lot hot, hotter than like a normal shed, but with the mesh door it's fine. Um, and I'm getting this from the Friday ad. A lot, of, well, actually one person, Lucy one six six, asked where I got get all these free sheds from. Um, but yeah, it's a Friday ad. As long as you have a van, um, you can get so many free sheds, summer houses, etc. on there. There's loads of them, and um, yeah, so as long as you have a van, you can get loads. I mean, this shed was free from one of my dad's customers. Um, the summer house is going to be free. Um, the hutches I paid for, but yeah, like it's it's a really good deal. Like the summer house, like I looked it up. It's, it's a seven by five summer house, and I looked it up, and usually it will cost five hundred pound, and I'm getting mine for free. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um. So onto this summer house, it's a dark brown colour, like the guinea, you know the guinea pig hutch, the four foot one, it's like that colour, dark brown. Um, I'm going to try and paint it lighter, like this, the shed colour, but if not I'll, I've already got paint sorted. And I'm going to have a theme down the bottom of the garden, like a dark brown shed, the dark brown chairs, paint the fish pond dark brown, have the fence dark brown, so it will be matching and nice. Um, and the pigs will get their six foot hutch back instead of going in the four foot hutch. And um, I'm going to use the, seeing as that will be the same colour, I'm going to put the four hutch, four foot hutch into the pondy, no, the summer house. So it's really weird saying summer house. 
um, and I'm going to put that inside of it and like hang hammocks in it and things like that. Um, and also because the four foot hutch is on stilts they can still play underneath and go in so it's like a bonus. So yeah it's like double the area. Um, so dad, my dad was in the area which is why I know this stuff about it. There was no picture. Um, and he went in there and because he knew the man, knows the man who's selling it, he used to try and send sell him windows. Um, so he's seen it and he knows a few things about it. It's in fair condition. It's got carpet on the floor, like blue ear greeny. It's not a typical summer house with like the V-shaped roof. It's got a sloping roof like this shed. So basically it'll just be like a fancy version of this shed but the door will be on the longest side and all the windows, like here, instead of having the door here. Um, it's got a sloping roof, and um, it's got loads of fancy like glass doors and windows. Um, and yeah, and I'm going to replace the carpet for Lino. And I'm going to put hammocks in. The Kitty City, look that up, it's awesome, it's well cute. Um, I'll put links. Um, plastic box with like play pit balls, litter trays, bowls and loads of stuff and they're gonna play with it all and it's gonna be awesome and they're gonna have a mesh door and yeah that's pretty much all my updates so watch out for tomorrow and um, I should be showing you guys the shed my brother and dad are gonna take it apart and bring it back home and put it up at the end of the garden and it's, it's going to be awesome, so I hope you can't wait. I'm very excited, so see ya.